Hey there! Welcome back to our channel. Do you want to make your website more accessible for your users? Turning your website text into speech can be a great addition. If you want to know how you can do that, follow me. For the purposes of turning our website text into speech, we're going to use the Text to Speech Pro plugin by Atlas AI Dev and let's first see what it offers. It offers multiple realistic voices you can choose across various options. You have advanced voice controls, multilingual support, unlimited audio downloads, customizable content selection, and WCAG compliance. Now let's head to our WordPress dashboard to test the features in action. And now I'm on my WordPress dashboard and here I've already installed and activated the Text-to-Speech Pro plugin by Atlas AI Dev. And let's get started with settings configuration. And here we have four options related to on how we want to display our uh, player uh, across our website. So here is this option, add button or player automatically. So if you want to turn text into speech across all your website, then you can choose this feature. It's a great one. You can choose to display button only if user is logged in. If you want to collect email base, that's a great addition to this feature set. Then stop autoplay after switching the tab. So if your customers or website visitors go across different tabs, it will automatically stop. And when scroll down, stop loading player. So you can uh, enable and disable this anytime. Uh, here is this allow listening for pause type. In a free version, you can choose only one of these three options. But in the pro plan, you are free to choose all of them together. Uh, let's stick to post and pages. Here are some exclusively pro plan features, such as include and exclude content by CSS selectors, exclude HTML text to speak, exclude text to speak, exclude posts uh, by IDs to speak. This one, this exclude posts by IDs to speak, in the free version, you can add up to five IDs to exclude them from um, turning them the text to speech. Uh, but in the pro plan, you have unlimited uh, options to do so. You can choose uh, to exclude categories to speak and exclude text to speak. Don't forget to save the changes after you are done with the customizations. Let's head to integrations. And here it's important to note that a text-to-speech pro plugin integrates seamlessly with uh, Google Cloud TTS and ChatGPT TTS very soon. Uh, but here it's needless to say that Google Cloud TTS is an optional uh, integration. And if you want to use it within text-to-speech pro uh, plugin, you need to pay for it separately. So if you do not uh, want to, you're free to um, uh, dismiss this. Let's head to customization. And here you can see basically the live preview of how it works uh, on your website. So here you can write something uh, to test this. Um, here we have this. Let's click on and see how it works. The most user-friendly text-to-speech accessibility plugin. Okay, here you can also uh, see how you can download it. Uh, it's basically what you can show on your website. Uh, here, you can choose and select the player. Here we have uh, different options uh, by default. In the free plan, you will be able to choose only the default option. But in the pro plan, you can choose between these out of four options, such as default pro, Google TTS pro, Google Cloud TTS, and ChatGPT TTS very soon. Let's proceed with the default option first. Let's save the changes and head to the front end. Let's update this. And this is how the default player will look like on front end. Let's go back and change the player to default pro, let's say. Save the changes. Let's head to the front end again. And this is how the default pro looks like. Let's change also to Google TTS Pro, save the changes, and update, and this is the Google TTS Pro. So they all differ in their style. This one has the download and the settings option. You can stop it whenever you need it. They differ in their functioning part as well. Okay, so here you probably noticed that we got notifications. Don't forget to check out the listening section because when we choose uh, different players, the listening section, the listening settings 
are modified accordingly. So for example, if I choose the default or the default pro version and save it and head to listening, you can see that we have different settings here. We can choose the voice language. We have so many options here. Um, we can choose the voice to speak. Um, Microsoft David, Microsoft Mark, Zira, Irina, for different languages accordingly. And you can choose the voice pitch, voice speed, voice volume. If we had to customization and we choose, let's say, Google TTS Pro and save it and had to listening, you can see slightly different settings here. You can see the voice language, voice pitch, voice speed, and voice volume. So we do not have the option to choose the person to speak. Okay, so, but there is one common thing that unifies all these players. We have the G Translate plugin language mapping. So let's again go back to choose the default option and then listening. And here we have the G Translate language mapping. So for each language here, you can choose uh, select the language for these language here. For example, for Arabic, you can choose Arabic. For Chinese, Chinese. For Chinese Taiwan, you can choose Chinese Taiwan. And for English, English, French, French, etc. etc. Why is this important? So for example, if um, your website is functioning in the US, then maybe you want to choose the English US. Or if it's functioning in the UK, then you can choose the different accent of English, which is the UK English. And this is very useful, especially for business functioning. So let's go back and if we choose default pro and save the changes, you can see again, you can choose the voice for Arabic, not only the language for Arabic. Then you can go again, Google TTS Pro and listening. And again, this is kind of similar to the default option you would choose the language for the language specified here. Okay, so what if I want to also change the way my player looks like here? For example, let's say it's the default option. And I want to change the way it looks, not only the colors, but overall how it looks like. That's why we're heading to design and here we can put a custom CSS to change the design. So I already have something here. You can also find it uh, on the uh, WordPress plugin section of um, a text-to-speech plugin. Let's save the changes. And let's go here and update this. And here you can see it works. We have a very advanced level of design. Okay, but let's say I also want to change what's written in here. So let's say I, I don't want it to uh, display listen in capital letters, but rather listen in small letters or I don't know, something else. That's why we're heading to docs. And here you can find all the necessary and useful information about the text to speech plugin. We're sliding down to how to apply filters and here you can see uh, the filter already ready for you. But before this, you will need to have a code snippet plugin. You can download it for free. Uh, okay, so we're simply copying this and then we are heading to the snippets plugin. We're adding a new one. Let's name it. Let's say instead of listen in capital letters, I want it to be listening again in capital letters. Okay, once the title is done and everything is correct, we are hitting save changes. Okay, snippet is updated. Now let's head to our front end and update us. And ta-da, it changed to listening. And this way, similarly, you can change it to any other word that you find catchy. Or for example, if you're based in France, you can maybe change this to another word for listening in French. However you wish. You So the way you can do it, you can easily change it and update it anytime.
it's important to note that um, Text-to-Speech Pro plugin is compatible with different plugins such as G-Translate, SEF plugins, WPML plugins, and other custom post type and caching plugins. And here you can choose to add um, ACF fields to your posts and don't forget to save the changes. Another great feature offered by the text-to-speech plugin is this aliases feature. So let's say there are certain words or expressions or numbers that you want it to turn into speech the way you want it. So let's say there is this number which um, it pronounces as 340B. Let's listen to it. What is lorem ipsum? 340B lorem ipsum is... Okay. Well, let's say, what if I wanted to pronounce 340B and not 340B? That's why I'm heading to our dashboard on text-to-speech, heading to aliases and add a new row. We're adding the text here and the way we want it to read. So in this case, it's 340B. Saving the changes. And let's head to here. It was updated. popularized in... What is lorem ipsum? 340B lorem ipsum is simply See? done. This is a great feature, especially if you have some unique uh, names that you wanted to pronounce it the way you want. It can be your product name that it uh, turns into speech according to the English or that specific language's rules. But this is a great way to customize it to your own needs. And now let's imagine a case that we want our listening button not to be here, but maybe at the end or somewhere in between. That's why we're heading to edit post. And here, if we scroll down a bit as well, here you can see this shortcut. This is the text to speech shortcut. That's why you copy this and then you had to where you wherever you want to put the button. Let's say maybe after this, you add a new block as a shortcut. And you pass the shortcut there. Save the changes. And let's see the post. So now you can see our listening button is wherever we want it to be. Okay, but that's not it actually. You can also modify the shortcuts. That's why you're heading to the WordPress directory of the text to speech plugin. And here, if you again scroll a bit down, you can see some extended shortcuts available. So this is the basic one and then you can also see this one you can copy this and let's again edit the post and let's say instead of this one add this one save the changes And let's view the post. So here you can see, in this case, for example, the one we have chosen, it's the uh, customize button text. So you can customize the text displayed on the button by adding attributes to the shortcut. And here, this is just an example. So you can customize it the way you want it to be. Last but not least, there is this analytics feature, which I wanted to keep uh, for the end because we have something to look at as well. Uh, first, you will need to enable this analytics feature. And here you can choose uh, the post IDs that you want to track. In a free plan, you have a limited availability um, in terms of the IDs, but in a pro plan, you can actually choose this all option and it will track all your posts and pages uh, and will give you valuable insights into your performance. Uh, well, after done, let's save the changes and let's head to one of these posts. Let's say this one.
And here, if you scroll a little bit down, you can see a complete analytics insights into how your player, how your pass performed. Uh, in the free plan, you will be uh, able to see some of the key insights, but in the pro plan, there is much to see. Um, besides the total, um, besides the total need, the total play, the total pose, the total time, the total end, you can also see the total download, the average play click ratio, the average listen till end ratio, the average listening uh, time per play, the average uh, poses per play. And um, you can see their respective values in front of them and you can make and draw some uh, important and crucial conclusions from this and understand how that player performs, how your users uh, are using it. Do they use it or for this specific post type, it's not that necessary, so you should disable it, etc, etc. So it's very crucial to also keep track of this analytics feature here. I would like to mention that there is a dedicated section of docs on the text-to-speech plugin settings and here if you have any kind of questions you can find the answers to them right here uh, for example you saw that we found the answer to how to apply filters right from here but still if you've got any more questions that you cannot find in there then you can head to uh, Atlas AI Depth's website and here support and click on contact us and simply fill in your name, email address, link to the page you need help with, and the message. Well, that's it about the text-to-speech plugin by Atlas AI Dev that will help you make your website a better place for your visitors. If you still got any questions concerning it, don't forget to drop them in the comments and we'll get back to you as soon as possible. And if you like this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up, subscribe to our channel, and hit that notification bell to not miss out any of our upcoming videos. And I'll see you next time and have a nice day. Bye-bye.